A few hours ago, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, just announced on Twitter their new video generation model named Sora. And honestly, it looks pretty awesome. Up until now, there's only been a few startups that have been trying to create video generated by AI. And it seems like OpenAI just decided to say, you know what, we're just going to do this and we're going to do this better than anyone else is doing it. So no one has to pick and choose who to use because we're going to be the go-to guys for this. And from what I've seen so far, Sora is going to be a game changer when it comes to generating video with AI. And in this video, I just kind of wanted to show their landing page and all the videos that they have on there that have been completely generated by Sora and also show some of the videos that Sam Altman has generated based off of the prompts that people have been tweeting at him. I'm going to be reacting to this in kind of real time. I haven't had a lot of opportunity to check this out yet, and I'm just as interested in this as most of you are. So let's just get right into it. Immediately when you land on the Sora page, you can see they have a nice video playing in their hero. And obviously that's going to be a video generated by Sora. So Sora is an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. All videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. Basically it takes a text prompt and it gives you a video similar to like how Dolly 3 works and how most other generative AI works. It says, we're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion with the goal of training models that help people solve problems that require real world interaction. Introducing Sora, our text to video model. Sora can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. This is a minute long video. The prompt was a stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress, and black boots, and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of colorful lights many pedestrians walk about. I gotta say, this is impressive. Everything I've seen up until now that has been doing video with AI images, it's kind of been clunky. It's very hard harsh. It's hard to get a clear, consistent video out of a lot of what I've seen so far. And from what I'm seeing with this product from OpenAI, this is really good. It's solid. The subject doesn't change much. In a lot of these other ones, there's this jolting, changing as the subject moves. And this looks very fluid. I honestly am having a hard time even realizing that this is AI. You know, I'm sure if you look closely, you can see some of that, but the consistency in the backgrounds and how it's just not changing or flickering or like trying to update itself as the movement happens. This is super impressive, dude. Like this is such a game changer. So let's see this other prompt. Several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through the snowy meadow. Their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk. Snow covered trees and dramatic snow capped mountains in the distance. Mid afternoon light with wispy clouds and a sun high in the distance creates a warm glow. The low camera view is stunning capturing the large furry mammoth with beautiful photography depth of field. So that first video was a full minute long. This one's just an, a little 10 second clip. Let's look at the let's look at the next one. A movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style shot in 35 millimeter film vivid colors. This is going to take out stock footage sites left and right. Like the quality of these images and how real these subjects look and these characters just look so good. And the consistency is just very impressive. They're saying that all of these are unmodified and these are generated directly from these prompts that we're reading here. So AI is going to give Hollywood a run for its money. Like programmers were worried about AI taking their jobs. It seems like we might be some of the last people to lose their jobs if uh, this is what it's going to be doing to the film industry, because this is going to be very disruptive for sure. Hollywood and actors and directors, anyone who's in filmmaking should be worried right now. This is just breathtaking. This is mind blowing, honestly. In this prompt, we have drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliffs along Big Sur's Gary Point 
beach. The crashing blue waters create white tipped waves while the golden light of the setting sun illuminates the rocky shore. A small island with a lighthouse sits in the distance. The green shrubbery covers the cliff's edge. The steep drop from the road down to the beach is a dramatic feat. The cliff's edges jutting out over the sea. Super impressive. Let's look at some, some other ones. So this one seems to be a little bit more 3D art styled. It seems to be a little bit more of a 3D animation, almost what you would see like in a Pixar movie or something. Animated scene features a close-up of a short, fluffy monster kneeling beneath a melting red candle. The art style is 3D and realistic with a focus of lighting and texture. The mood of the painting is one of wonderful and curiosity as the monster glazes into the flame with wide eyes and an open mouth. It poses the expression that conveys a sense of innocence and playfulness as it is exploring the world around it for the first time. The use of warm colors and dramatic lighting further enhances the cozy atmosphere of the image. So here's a vertical shot of a Victoria crowned pigeon that showcases its striking blue plumage and red chest. Its crest is made of delicate and lacy feathers while its eye is striking red color. Like this looks so real. It's crazy how realistic this looks. If I was given this and told that it was a real bird, I would think it was. I wouldn't have any reason to believe it wasn't. You know, with AI photos, you can really generate some pretty crazy out of the box kind of images that you couldn't find in stock photos and things like that. And it seems that you're gonna be able to do the same with Sora and generating video. This is a definitely an out of the box idea. You've got photorealistic close up of a video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside of a cup of coffee. You'll really be able to stretch the imagination and generate some cool stuff with this. And this next prompt is a perfect example of why stock footage websites are gonna be a thing of the past. So as a YouTuber and as someone who always struggles to find like the right bit of B-roll to put in a video, I know that this is going to be honestly a game changer for a lot of content creators and any industry that has to do with film and video creation because this prompt is very simple. It's a young man in his 20s sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. It looks so good. It just looks so real. It looks, looks awesome. Today, Sora is becoming available to red teamers to access critical areas of harms of, or risk. We are also granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be more helpful for creative professionals. We're sharing our research progress early to start working with and getting feedback from people outside of OpenAI to give the public a sense of what AI capabilities are on the horizon. Not gonna lie, I wish I was on that list. Here we got historical footage of California during the gold rush. I love how they actually made it look like historical footage and they gave it that grainy old film feel to it. And I gotta say, it's just, it looks so good. It's damn impressive. So here's another creative out of the box kind of idea in this prompt. A close up view of a glass sphere that has a Zen garden within it. There is a small dwarf in the sphere who is raking the Zen garden and creating patterns in the sand. I kind of had a hard time saying that one. That was honestly kind of a tongue twister for me. So this prompt here is obviously trying to capture some of the photorealism capabilities of this. It's an extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eye blinking standing in Marrakesh during magic hour. Cinematic film shot in 70 millimeter, depth of field, vivid colors, cinematic. So that's a pretty simple prompt. And looking at it like, if I look really closely, I can see that it, it feels a little bit animated around the edges, like the skin looks a little, I don't know, Pixar-ish or computer generated. That's me really, really trying to look for flaws in it. Like if I just look at this, the detail is really great. The eyelashes look really good. Like the skin textures close in the eye and and like the, the inner part of the eye and the, the pupil just, Everything is just, it's really, really impressive. Here's a kangaroo dancing disco songs, more cartoonish 3D animations type style. As you can see, they have a lot of examples here. Here's another like 3D animation mixed with a little bit of photorealism in this laboratory in the background while you have these red pandas coming out of this Petri dish. You got all of these TV screens showing all of these different images here. Here's some more of the prompts. I'm not gonna go through every one of these because I, I do feel like it's a bit much for me to just read the description of each of these prompts, but, but just looking at these, it's, it's 
it's pretty, pretty wild. I, I want to see a little bit more of what they have to say on this website and what they're expecting from Sora. So Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion and accurate details of the subject and background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. Can't wait to be able to actually use this. I wonder if it's going to be part of premium chat GPT, if this is going to be something that's completely separate from that. But just looking at this stuff and like this octopus and crab looks so real. Like I can definitely see a little flaws if I try to look really close in the crab. It looks like it has some extra legs there and uh, I can maybe tell that it's not a real crab if I look closely. But hard to judge and say that it's got flaws when it looks so damn good. And it says the model has a deep understanding of language, enabling it to accurately interpret prompts and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. Sora can also create multiple shots within a single generated video that accurately persists characters and visual styles. I think it kind of did that in that first video of the woman walking in Tokyo because it like changed the angle and it kind of a wide establishing shot as she was walking and then it took like a close up of her face. You know, what's going to be interesting if you're going to be able to like create full movies and if they can train these models to kind of remember the characters that they use and then like build sequences to like generate a whole movie. I know there's somebody on Twitter that kind of has been doing stuff like that using other AI video generators and he's been kind of pacing some stuff together that looks really good. But this is definitely going to bring this to more of us normies that just want to pass in a prompt and get a video. Pretty cool that they're also calling out that, you know, this isn't a complete model and that it's a work in progress. It says that it does have some weaknesses and it may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and it may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterwards the cookie may not have a bite mark in it. Also, the model may confuse details of prompts. For example, mixing left and right may struggle with precise descriptions of events that take place over time, like following a specific camera trajectory. So here you got some guy running on a treadmill. Obviously he's not running in the right direction. Uh, maybe he watches the knees over toes guy and he's trying to run backwards on the treadmill. I don't know. You can see here uh, the pups are kind of cloning themselves. Here's a basketball going into the hoop and then it explodes in the hoop, which all right, I can see that's definitely flawed a bit there. And honestly, this is what like a lot of the other video generation AIs looked like, but even worse, there was a lot of these flaws happening. And of course, the ones that they showed earlier on here are probably the best that they found. I don't know how many times they passed in a prompt to get the perfect video, because of course, I am assuming that they prompted a few times and if they didn't like the first result or if it wasn't good enough, they passed it in the same prompt in order to get a better result from that prompt. But I'm glad that they're also showing some of the flaws. I'm interested to see what it's like to actually use this. And if you're gonna get more results out of your prompts that look like this, chair and have more flaws, or if you're going to get results that are actually pretty good most of the time. I'm curious, of course, this is still really new, but to consider the fact that it is still so new and when they just announced it and it's kind of in a closed beta or a private beta and they have people that they've handpicked to test it out. I'm, I'm really interested to see what this is going to be like when it goes public or they do early access for maybe the, the premium subscription holders like me and, and a lot of other people. Real quick, I just want to talk about some of the safety stuff that they mentioned here, as well as some of the research. So in the safety section, they mentioned we'll be taking several important safety steps ahead of making Sora available to open AI's products. We're working with red teamers, domain experts in areas like misinformation, hateful content and bias who will be adversarially testing the model. We're also building tools to help detect misleading content such as a detection classifier that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. We plan to include 2CPA metadata in the future if we deploy the model to an open AI product. In addition to us developing new techniques to prepare for deployment, we are leveraging the existing safety methods that we built our products that use Dolly 3, which are uh, applicable to Sora as well. I, I don't necessarily agree with all of this. I think that it's better to let this thing be a little bit more wild and flexible than to try to lock it down and make it, you know, this shell of what it could be. But at the same time, I understand as a, as a business and trying to make sure that you release something that isn't bad for the public or that could be used in 
bad ways. And we all saw what happened with the Taylor Swift uh, naked uh, AI pictures that went around and and how, how that could affect normal people and other people. So I, I get you kind of need a, a good balance of safety, but at the same time, you don't want to gut a product for the sake of being safe because we are in the wild, wild west of AI and we should allow this to be a little more open and able to be a little more outside of the box rather than containing it and having a certain group of people say what you can and can't do with it. But again, I, I kind of see both sides and finding that balance is, is tricky. Real quick, I'm not gonna go through the rest of the videos here. I wanna, I wanna take a little time to go through the videos that Altman has been posting on Twitter, but I do wanna talk briefly about what they mentioned in their research techniques here before I do that. Sora is a diffusion model which generates a video by starting off with one that looks like static noise and gradually transforms it by removing the noise over many steps. Sora is capable of generating entire videos all at once or extending generated video to make them longer. Okay, so that kind of answers my question about making sequences and maybe possibly doing like a whole movie or a short film with it. If you can extend generated videos and make them longer, I wonder if you can like add and use that to continue on a scene. By giving the model foresight of many frames at a time, we've solved the challenging problem of making sure a subject stays the same even when it goes out of view temporarily. Similar to GPT models, Sora uses a transformer architecture unlocking superior scaling performance. We represent videos and images as collections of smaller units of data called patches, each which is akin to a token in GPT. By unifying how we represent data, we can train diffusion transformers on a wider range of visual data than was possible before spanning different durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. Sora builds on past research in Dolly 3 and GPT models. It uses the recaptioning technique of Dolly 3, which involves generating high descriptive captions for visual training data. As a result, the model is able to follow the user's text instructions and generate video more faithfully. Sora for you. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that Altman has been generating today on Twitter. So this one is a bicycle race on the ocean with different animals as athletes riding the bicycle with a drone camera view. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Definitely, you know, stretches the imagination for sure. Here's a pretty, uh, photorealistic video, uh, an instructional cooking session of homemade ganoush hosted by a grandmother social media influencer set in a rustic Tuscan country kitchen with cinematic lighting. I gotta say, this is pretty good. I can definitely see a little bit of flaw in the mixing of the bowl there, but all in all, if you look at it briefly, you can't really tell. The hands hold well when she holds them up. There's no changing in the face and the rest of the scene that's static is is pretty good and nothing's like jolting or, you know, changing as the camera moves and and uh the subject moves as well so it's it's pretty good <laughs> so here's two golden retrievers podcasting on a mountaintop what else did people ask What's this one a half duck half dragon flies through a beautiful sunset with a hamster dressed in adventure gear on its back all right that looks really cartoony but it's definitely what the prompt asked for so there you have it that's mostly what i was able to find on sam altman's twitter account from what he's been posting today this was just announced a few hours ago i really had no idea that this was coming it seems like something that's new i wanted to make a video on it because i am interested in a lot of this ai stuff that's happening and i i love when i see stuff like this that i plan on using and i wanted to share it with you guys just in case anyone else was interested in hearing about Sora and what was just announced today. All right. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.